Hi kids, welcome back to my channel. It's time to read a story with Miss Halif. Do you like reading stories? Let's do it together. And today's story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. One sunny morning, the bears went for a walk while their breakfast cooled down. A curious girl named Goldilocks with golden curls found their house. Inside the cottage, Goldilocks found a table set with three bowls of porridge, a big one for Papa Bear, a medium-sized one for Mama Bear, and a tiny one for Baby Bear. She tasted Papa Bear's porridge, but it was too hot. Mama Bear's porridge was too cold for her liking. Finally, she tried Baby Bear's porridge, and it was just right. Goldilocks happily finished the small bowl. With her belly full, Goldilocks moved to the living room where she saw three chairs, a large one for Papa Bear, a medium-sized one for Mama Bear, and a tiny one for Baby Bear. She sat in Papa Bear's chair, but it was too hard. Then she sat in Mama Bear's chair, but it was too soft. Finally, she sat in Baby Bear's chair, and it was just right. But, oh no, the chair broke because it was too small for her. Feeling a little tired, Goldilocks went to find three beds, a big one for Papa Bear, a medium-sized one for Mama Bear, and a tiny one for Baby Bear. She tried Papa Bear's bed, but it was too hard. Mama Bear's bed was too soft. Finally, she laid down on Baby Bear's bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep right away. When the bears came back, they felt something was wrong. Papa Bear growled. Mama Bear gasped. <gasps> and Baby Bear whimpered when they found the visitor. When Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears, she was scared. She quickly apologized, explaining that she was just curious. The bears, seeing that Goldilocks meant no harm, forgave her and even shared some of the porridge with her. Goldilocks promised to be more careful and respectful in the future. She thanked the three bears for their kindness and went on her way, leaving the cottage and the bears behind. The end. Thank you so much for reading the story together. See you on the next story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.